guys and welcome back to another video i thought today i could do i think i filmed this video once before but it's been a long time so i thought i would film it and just kind of go over a few things that maybe you might not know about camp before going to camp now i have a lot of people message me sometimes saying oh like why don't you ever speak about the bad things that happen at camp why don't you ever talk about the negatives or the downsides and for me personally like nothing about camp is a negative or something bad i don't ever see any of these things i'm going to talk about as like a negative at camp i don't see i wouldn't go back to camp every year as many years as i have if i really struggle with these things or i saw them as really bad parts of going to camp now somebody else watching this might think oh my god that is a really bad thing i would hate that it wouldn't be for me and each to their own everyone is going to be so different but for me personally i haven't had a negative experience at camp i just want to start off by saying that because a lot of people say oh you only talk about the positives of camp you only talk about like, the good things and that's because for me personally everything about camp is a good thing i go back year after year this is my fifth summer at camp now i started at camp when i was 19 years old i'm turning 26 this year i wouldn't keep putting camp into my life if i didn't enjoy it as much as i do but Anyway, I'm going to talk about just a few things that maybe you might not know about camp before going. And that's not to say that these are bad things. I don't think anyway. They're just maybe things that you might not know about or maybe isn't spoken about enough in terms of the job and how hard it can be going and working at a summer camp. So yeah, I'm going to dive straight in, talk about some things. I've got a few things written down so I don't forget any. But yeah, please let me know if you've been to a camp before. What are some of maybe your interpretations on this what are some things that you maybe struggled with at camp um because i know it'll probably help someone else out because just because i've had a really really incredible experience at camp i know other people that haven't so it's always hard for me to talk on anything other than the amazing experience i've had at camp because it's the only one i can go off but yeah sorry for that little ramble i'm gonna dive right in now okay first thing that i feel like a lot of people don't necessarily know before going to camp is how long the days are the days are long the job is hard like being a camp counselor or any job in and around camp is a really hard job and it's going to be like nothing you've ever experienced before honestly and i don't know what i don't know what people go into this thinking i can't remember what i went into camp thinking how it would be i knew i was going to be working a lot and i knew that the job itself isn't like a normal job it's not like going and working a nine to five or going and working like a retail or a restaurant job it's nothing like that so the days feel long because you're in the same environment all the time and a lot of the times you're on od or on duty is a lot longer than you would normally be working a shift in a normal job if that makes sense but when you think about some of the things you do within your job role or that counts as you work in it's not work like sometimes you'd maybe have like an act three activities in the morning you go do gymnastics you'd go in the lake you'd go swimming and you would join in and do a lot of these things with your kids and when you're in the moment it really doesn't feel like work and honestly a lot of the times you'll think wow this is incredible like i'm so lucky to be spending my summer like working and doing a job like this that's not to say that you won't get tired because chances are you will get exhausted i always find that around week five I really hit a wall and it becomes really hard to just feel all that same motivation so you've really got to rely on the people around you and help build each other up to get through those last final weeks because it does get hard and at one point you're literally like oh, I'm so ready for my own bed I'm so ready to see my family and my friends and that's normal the days are long that is something again I don't know if a lot of people know as much going into it I feel like it's something that is pretty obvious to me obviously now I don't know again people going for the first time I'm not sure how everyone goes into it but you are working some, like my camp is a sleepaway camp we obviously have to look after the kids like day in day out all through the night as well so it's not like uh you, you're not really clocking off i mean i know people that work at day camp it's a little bit different and sometimes if the kids go home at 5 p.m you might have the evening off again i can only go off what my camp is but but yeah the days are long please go into this experience knowing that it's not an easy ride it's not the easiest thing you'll ever do it is a lot of hard work and please prepare yourself for that because it's intense and you're going into an environment that you've probably never been in before or anything remotely like this because it's so unique and such a different thing than you'll probably have ever experienced and those first few days might hit you like a ton of bricks and you're like oh my god i'm so tired already because it's a lot and it's full on and there's so much to do you'll be waking up at the same time every day you'll be getting your kids up and ready for the day you'll be going to activities you'll be obviously helping at meal times maybe you're a specialist counselor and you're working in an area all day then you have like dinner and you get ready for an evening activity you have to put the kids to bed it's a lot but in the moment honestly you won't feel like you're at work the same way that you're working a normal job but yeah definitely bear in mind the days are long it is hard work it is also i always say it's the hardest job you'll ever love 
it's the hardest thing I've ever done hands down and every year I go into it with like a new a new lease of life and it makes me so excited to go back to camp but you are always reminded that it's a hard job no matter what you do and it's intense it's overwhelming there's a lot going on but yeah use the people around you ask for support if you need it the days are long and that's normal that is the job um but like i said there'll be some days that you're literally dressing up in your camp colors going to these insane events and spending the day doing that but then you realize right this is technically work i'm on duty right now i'm being paid to work but it doesn't feel like work if that makes sense okay next up is that you might feel lonely i have had a bunch of people reach out to me and say they're worried about feeling homesick or missing home or just getting to camp and finding that time at the start really hard to adjust and just feeling a little bit lonely and one thing to remember is that is completely normal please try not to go into this experience and maybe think oh I'm gonna have the best time I'm gonna be really outgoing I'm gonna be really this because it's really really hard sometimes to keep yourself at that level that you thought you were gonna be at at camp for you then to get there and actually be a little bit overwhelmed and be like oh no, like I didn't expect myself to feel like this. Just go into it with an open mind and just kind of go with the flow, however you're feeling. Just kind of go from that as you're feeling it instead of kind of assuming you're gonna get on really, really well and just have the best time. And then those first few days are a little bit hard and then you think, oh, well, I didn't think I was gonna feel like this. I shouldn't have done this. This is the biggest mistake. I wanna go home and vice versa. Like don't go into it thinking you are gonna really struggle. You are gonna really miss home because you could go and absolutely love it and kind of, get used to that adjustment really quickly and just feel really settled. So try not to go in with any expectations. I always say, go in with an open mind and just enjoy the time you have at camp. Okay, so my camera died. I apologize if I'm at a completely different angle. And honestly, I can't remember where I got up to. I think I was talking about feeling lonely at camp. I think, I hope I was at that part. Otherwise I have no idea what I got up to. But yeah, loneliness is a very normal thing to go through. I think in any circumstance when you're traveling, especially when you're gonna go out halfway around the world, potentially going there, for the first time, potentially going there for the first time by yourself, potentially going there not knowing anybody, it's completely normal to feel lonely. And honestly, I think it would be a little bit strange at times if you didn't feel lonely at some point in your experience. One thing I really want everyone to know is that my DMs and messages are always open. I've had a few people message me just saying that they weren't, they're not feeling 100% about the whole thing. They feel really lonely. They're not sure what to expect when they get to camp. Please reach out if you have anything if you just want to talk to someone about something that's done camp before or just talk to someone in general about camp i remember how terrified i was my first year going to camp i have told this story before but i literally flew out to new york with my mom we had like a four day holiday before i had to get on a bus to camp i sat on this bus and cried the entire time genuinely was like i want them to turn this bus around my mom is still in new york i'm gonna go back home with her and i'll be fine and i felt so emotional just scared for what was to come and i felt so lonely i sat on this bus by myself not knowing a single person turns out there was about 15 people on this bus that were going to tyler hill i just didn't have the confidence to just ask if anyone else was going to the same camp as me but i felt incredibly lonely and i know what it's like to get to camp and just feel a little bit like ow what am i what am i doing what's going on here for me i got to camp and did feel extremely welcomed i felt very at home like very quickly like very early on but i know that doesn't happen for everyone i know people that went to my camp and i was really good friends with it it did take them a little bit longer to adjust and that is normal as well they did feel lonely and that's okay so please please reach out to me if at any point in the summer you just want to talk to someone or you're just not 100 percent sure what's going on you just want someone to talk to because my messages will always be open and i love being able to help the reason i make these videos and the reason i do what i do with camp is to help everyone else when i first went to camp years ago there wasn't any information there was nothing online the way that there is now about summer camps and i want to give people the information that i didn't have my first summer go in just because it makes the process so much easier it makes everything so like not simple but just smoother and just having a bit of information knowing a little bit more about the whole process is so nice so yeah please reach out to me if you're struggling and reach out to people at camp if you're feeling lonely if you're struggling to adjust there are people there to help please use the people around you communicate to your head staff communicate ask your directors if you need help because people are there to help you and no one wants to see you struggle so yeah use the people around you and that kind of goes on to my next one i saw someone do a video similar to this and just say that they had no help at camp they had no support they were kind of left to their own devices and they were in charge of whatever it was they were doing please whether that's the case at your camp obviously i can only go off 
my experience at my camp and a lot of people that I know that was one of the first people I've ever seen talk about camp experience and say that they were pretty much on their own they didn't have like people to bounce ideas off or people to ask for help so please use the people around you ask for help I again like I say don't know that of anything that would ever normally be like that the people you meet at camp should be such an insane support system the same way that you would be for them and that goes for your like co-counselors it goes for your kids as well you will support them so much and they will support you so much your head staff head counselors division leaders group leaders all of that please use the people around you to help if you are feeling lonely if you are feeling overwhelmed if you are struggling at any point because there are people to help okay next i'm going to talk about is the first day of camp now the first day that the campers will arrive is going to be a lot like it is a very overwhelming day i've spoke about this before me and summer spoke about this when we did one of our videos as well the first day when the kids arrive if you haven't been to camp before if you don't know the group of kids that are about to step off that bus is very intimidating it's overwhelming there's a lot that goes on the kids are going to naturally run to the returning faces the familiar faces they know their friends counselors they recognize from previous summers that is where the, that first like 30 minutes is going to be like that time is going to be dedicated to those people please don't think that that is a uh, right like they're pushing you away they don't want anything to do with you it's just them being excited to see those people again for the first time in potentially a year or even longer so give them that time to adjust just let it be let them obviously speak to whoever they're speaking to the first to be fair it's the first couple of hours that obviously again only going off what happens at my camp but the bus is rolling the kids run off the bus there's these insane reunions everyone's crying it's so happy it's such an exciting moment and then we'll normally have these big signs that have the bu the bunk numbers on and which kids are in which bunk and then everyone like runs to the bunks they get themselves settled they like have a look at the area because obviously all their stuff's been unpacked and it's a really exciting overwhelming first hour or so and again, like it's going to be very easy for the returning counsellors to sit on their beds and have a conversation and chat about what their year's been like. And it's hard for, really hard for someone that hasn't been to camp before. And you are a little bit like, well, like they all have these amazing relationships. Like I don't even know these kids. How am I going to get to this place? But please don't let that overwhelm you too much. It is going to overwhelm you. That's normal. But please just try and know that that's just how it's going to go. And just remember that those returning counsellors were once in your position as new counsellors and they didn't know them either and they had those overwhelming moments when they first arrived at camp as well and again ask what they did ask how they managed to just kind of like make things easier and smoother getting to know the kids I always recommend that in those first few hours obviously still make yourself known like speak to the kids chat to the kids just don't try and force anything and it's really hard to try and explain that but when you're in the moment you'll like understand what i mean when you first meet your campers you can start by having some little conversations just asking how the journey was how their year was how school had been different things like that just to kind of get yourself in having some little conversations but you'll normally find again at my camp what we do within the first hour of the kids arriving like i say they'll settle in they'll drop their bus bags off they'll chill out for a little bit and then we'll always go and like do like a group session or group activity so we'll take all the kids all the counselors counselors and we'll normally go and do something just like some get to know you activities different things to do just to kind of break the ice a little bit and to help those new counselors kind of get adjusted feel like they can actually like introduce themselves they can give a little bit of information about them actually say what their name is what they're doing at camp kind of a little bit about you so that's how it works at my camp and that's a really nice way to kind of like I said, just break the ice and get those conversations going by doing like a little group activity or game. And camp virtually starts there and then. You won't normally start activities on the first day. Again, going off my camp. I feel like I've said that so many times. But we'll normally get straight into camp life. We'll, like I say, do some activities, some games. We'll normally have lunch. I can't remember what time. Or oh, do they arrive in the afternoon? I can't remember. Um, normally then go and like shower and get ready for dinner and have an evening activity. Like we'll normally have a really exciting evening activity for the first the first night um one thing to remember as well is those first few nights at camp are going to be chaotic when you're in the bunks think of the excitement as if you were as a kid going into like a sleepover with 13 of your best friends imagine how exciting that would be and how you really don't want to go to sleep those first few nights so what i said to my counselors last year was just kind of like i know it's going to be a late few nights to start with but 
just kind of obviously like remind them like right girls it's time to like settle down go to bed let's try and get we've got a big day tomorrow all of the kind of things that you will naturally say anyway but also bear in mind that these kids are so excited to be at camp and they're just so excited to be back with their friends again so those first few nights are normally a little bit later than the rest of the summer just because like i say the excitement builds everyone is so buzzing to be back at camp so just something to maybe bear in mind the first day is a lot the first few nights are a lot use people around you for help again like i say ask people how they managed it in years before how they were able to adjust kind of some little things that they did people are there to help everyone wants to make it the smoothest process for everyone involved so yeah and me saying those first few days are overwhelming they are but they're also so exciting and honestly what i would do to experience camp again for the first time those first few days genuinely nobody even understands because it's such a magical it's such a magical thing to experience anyway but to do it for the first time and just be like right i'm actually doing this now this is all real this is when it hits you when you're like camp has actually started now so yeah enjoy it have fun know that it is going to be a lot it can be overwhelming but it's also incredible as well okay next thing i want to talk about is the fact that you have no privacy or any time to yourself now again i don't know how things work at other camps with i don't know like time off and different things but like with at my camp like I think camp in general privacy is just not a thing you're sharing a small space with so many people it's just not it's just not something that happens and time to yourself is definitely something that you should appreciate now whilst you're at home because you genuinely get none of it when you're away and the occasional time you might have a period off or you might spend a night off by yourself it's hard to do those things because the FOMO is real at camp, guys. Honestly, you'll have a night off and you'll be like, oh, I'm just going to have a chilled one. I'm going to get an early night. I'm just going to go and not watch a film, just have some time by myself. Then like eight o'clock rolls around and everyone's saying, oh, like, we're going to go here. We're on a night off. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And everyone, you're like, oh, okay. Like I have to go. So the FOMO is real. Just know that a lot like you don't go to camp to spend time by yourself i think everyone knows that you go to camp to obviously meet incredible people have this amazing experience and it is full on and it is a lot but use the time you have because honestly if you spend too many nights having time to yourself you will regret it at the end of the summer unless you really need it unless your body is like crying out for an early night a, like just a lazy night then please do it but make sure you also enjoy spending time with all these people that you've met because the summer is going to go by so fast i say this so much and i like when people get to camp they then message me and they're like oh my god like you were right the summer is flying by so please just enjoy it and know that that time to yourself is going to come when you get home or when you're traveling but enjoy being around so many people at camp because that is the beauty of it and genuinely you'll go from spending every night every day living in a bunk with your campers and counsellors and it's been the most incredible like thing and then you'll be at home literally the first night you'll be at home lying in your own bed is the weirdest feeling ever because all you want is to go back and all you want is to be back in the bunk again with your kids and your counsellors and you're just like oh no like this is this is really sad and now you've got to wait 10 months if you're going back to camp the next summer so yeah time alone isn't really a thing obviously if you really need it you, there is ways that you can spend time by yourself like i said if you want to spend an evening to, on your own you can do if you want to get an early night that's normally fine so yeah but try and spend time with people i feel like i just contradict myself when i talk about this but yeah you're not gonna have much time to yourself get used to it okay and the last thing i'm gonna talk about is that it's gonna be one of the most incredible experiences of your entire life and you're gonna meet friends for life genuinely the people that i've met at camp i I can't say enough that they are some of the most important people in my life and it's so funny to think that like for me my life would be so different if I hadn't gone to camp and I can hand on my heart say that that I would be a completely different person if I hadn't gone to camp that first time it's opened up so many doors for me and so many things I've done since camp have come because of I because of me spending that first summer there six years ago now which is wild to think but it really has shaped me to be the person I am today and I've grown so much as a person like my confidence has grown so much my communication skills my people skills just the way that I like to think I carry myself is so different because of those summers that I've spent at camp and I genuinely believe that is a big big reason that I am where I am today and that's not to say that everyone going to camp will have the same experience I don't want to set that tone that just because I've had an incredible experience at camp that everyone else is going to have the same I wish genuinely wish with all my heart that i could give everyone the same experience that i've had at camp and it's not going to be possible every camp is different every person is different everyone's going to adapt to situations differently but 
I always say if you go into camp with an open mind and you just go with an excited feeling to just meet new people and have the most incredible time and have such an impact on your campers it can be such an amazing experience and I'm 100% convinced that camp can be amazing if you if you let it if you give yourself the opportunities to make it amazing you're only going to get out of camp what you put in so please put in 110% have fun with it get excited because it is the most incredible thing I've ever done genuinely I feel like I've just gone so sappy like actually could cry talking about camp guys I fly to camp in five days and I'm so excited actually can't sorry I felt like I needed a moment from my my soppiness but yeah camp can be a life-changing experience if you really throw yourself into it and you just have a lot of fun with it you're gonna have like I say such an impact on your campers and they're gonna have such an impact on you as well like my girls have helped me grow into the person that I am today genuinely through spending every summer with them I've learned so much from them and I like to think they've learned a lot from me as well so yeah it's a whole team effort camp won't camp wouldn't work without the people around you so in like everything I've said use the people around you enjoy the time with the people around you have fun and get excited right I'm gonna round that off there I feel like I was just chatting for days but I love talking about this kind of thing and like I said I can't talk about all the negatives about camp and like I said at the start I don't feel like these things are negatives they're tough and they're hard but it is the job at the end of the day and I think it's something that I do think most people know when they sign up to camp they know that it's going to be a hard job they know the days are long they know that it can feel lonely and overwhelming but I just like to talk about this sometimes and show that there are days that are hard it's not always going to be sunshines and rainbows there will be days that things go wrong at camp and you do struggle and that is normal but that doesn't make it bad in my opinion again camp is what you make of it and I think energy is a huge thing at camp and mindset is massive if you go into something if you wake up one day and you're just really not feeling it but you let that show it affects so many people around you so having a good positive energy is so important something I know isn't possible to do every single day they're going to be days that you just don't have it in you and that's okay but that's when you have to lean on the people around you and ask for help if you need it Summer said something really good in the last video we did actually she said something like she'd wake up some days and if she was she had like 60% to give she'd just say that she'd say look I've got 60% to give I need you guys to help give me the rest like I need to help build like I need some help building myself up today in the same way that when they felt down and they had days when they were feeling 40% that she was there to help them as well and you really are a big team you really are a cohesive unit at camp and orientation will teach you a lot about that in terms of working together using people around you and how important it is to just communicate and tell people how you're feeling and how things are going I'm so excited to get to camp though honestly and show you what we get up to in orientation and just different things and I'm just so buzzing I actually can't but yeah like I said if you are needing anything at all if you are getting to those few days before you fly and you're feeling really anxious really nervous or if you're at camp and you're just not feeling it you're like oh my god what have I done what's going on please feel free to send me a message because I always want to be able to help out honestly any way that I can even if that just means being on the other end of a screen texting you back and just trying to give you some sort of advice maybe of what's helped me or different things you could try I just want to be able to help so yeah thank you so much for watching guys please go into this experience with an open mind just know that it can be such an incredible thing if you just let it and you open yourself up to all the amazing things that camp can offer I'm going to stop rambling there. Please let me know down below if you have any video requests that you want to see. I've got a little bit of time to be able to film some more videos if anyone wants to see any last minute videos. I have like a what's in my hand luggage video coming up. I have, what else was I going to film? I've got a bunch of things on my phone. But if you have anything specifically that you want to see before I fly in five days, please let me know because I'm having a few filming days and I'm just so excited for everyone to experience camp and I'm just oh, so, so buzzing for this year words can't even explain but thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video